Hello, my friend. Welcome to my All Farmers channel for all American farmers. Have you ever wondered how those delicious potatoes at the grocery store make their way from the farm to your plate? Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of American potato farming and the incredible process of harvesting millions of tons of this versatile vegetable each year. From the fields to your table, we'll uncover the secrets behind this agricultural marvel. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to receive the next fascinating videos from the world of farming from all farmers. Specifically, we're going to focus on an amazing method for growing potatoes without using any soil at all. That's right, potatoes. The ultimate comfort food that pairs perfectly with almost any dish. Imagine being able to grow these delicious tubers right in your own home, even if you don't have a backyard or traditional garden space. This technique not only allows you to enjoy fresher, homegrown potatoes, but also empowers you to take control of your food sources sustainably. So, whether you're a seasoned gardening enthusiast, a curious science lover eager to learn about innovative farming techniques, or even just someone looking for a fun and productive hobby, stick around because this is going to be a fun ride. We'll be sharing tips, step-by-step -step guides, and all the insider secrets you need to successfully grow your own potatoes hydroponically. Plus, I'll be answering some common questions along the way. So let's get started. What is soilless farming? First, let's clarify what we mean by soilless farming. Soilless agriculture encompasses a range of innovative techniques that allow plants to grow without traditional soil. Instead of relying on soil for nutrients and support, these methods utilize various growing mediums and nutrient solutions to provide everything the plants need to thrive. The most common types of soilless farming include hydroponics, where plants grow in nutrient-rich water, aeroponics, where roots are suspended in the air and misted with nutrients, and aquaponics, which combines hydroponics with aquaculture, utilizing fish waste as a natural fertilizer. In hydroponic systems, plants receive a balanced nutrient solution delivered directly to their roots, ensuring they absorb the essential minerals and vitamins they need for growth. This direct access to nutrients can lead to faster growth rates and higher yields compared to traditional soil gardening. On the other hand, aeroponics provides an even more efficient approach by maximizing oxygen exposure to the roots promoting vigorous growth and reducing the risk of overwatering. These methods not only enhance plant growth, but also significantly minimize water usage, making them ideal for areas facing water scarcity. Another key aspect of soilless farming is its ability to create controlled environments, allowing for year-round cultivation regardless of external weather conditions. This capability is particularly beneficial in urban settings where space is limited and conventional farming may not be feasible. By using soilless systems, growers can produce food in compact, vertical arrangements, reducing the land footprint needed for cultivation. Additionally, soilless farming drastically reduces the chances of soil-borne diseases and pests, leading to healthier crops and less reliance on chemical pesticides. Overall, soilless farming represents a sustainable and efficient alternative to traditional agriculture, paving the way for the future of food production. Why grow potatoes without soil? So, why would anyone want to grow potatoes without soil? There are several compelling reasons, and let's explore them in detail. First and foremost, Soilless farming methods significantly increase the growth rate of potatoes. Hydroponically grown potatoes can mature faster than those planted in soil, cutting down the time from planting to harvest. This quicker growth cycle allows for more frequent harvesting, 
which can be particularly advantageous for commercial growers looking to maximize their yields throughout the year. In a world where food demand continues to rise, this speed is a crucial benefit for both small-scale gardeners and large-scale farmers. Another major advantage of growing potatoes without soil is the enhanced space efficiency these systems offer. Hydroponic setups can be designed to fit into smaller areas, making them ideal for urban environments or locations with limited arable land. Vertical farming, a common practice in soilless agriculture, allows growers to stack plants vertically, effectively utilizing every inch of available space. This means that even people living in apartments or homes without yards can enjoy homegrown potatoes, making fresh produce more accessible. Additionally, soilless farming drastically reduces the risk of soil-borne diseases and pests, which can devastate traditional potato crops. In a hydroponic system, the absence of soil means that many common pests, such as nematodes and aphids, are less likely to affect the plants. This leads to healthier potatoes with fewer issues, resulting in a higher quality of produce. Moreover, because there is less reliance on chemical pesticides, this method promotes a more sustainable and eco-friendly approach to farming, aligning with the growing consumer demand for organic and sustainably produced foods. Water efficiency is another significant benefit of growing potatoes hydroponically. Traditional agriculture often requires substantial amounts of water, which can be a critical concern in drought-prone regions. Hydroponic systems use a fraction of the water compared to conventional farming methods because the water is recirculated and reused within the system. This conservation not only helps in reducing the overall water footprint, but also makes it easier to grow potatoes in areas with limited water resources, thus ensuring food security in various climates. Finally, soil-less farming allows for precise control over growing conditions, including nutrient levels, pH, and light exposure. This level of control means that growers can optimize the environment for potato growth, leading to potentially higher yields and better tasting produce. With automated systems, it's easier to monitor and adjust conditions as needed, making it possible to grow healthy potatoes year-round, regardless of seasonal changes. This adaptability is essential as we face the challenges of climate change and unpredictable weather patterns. How to grow potatoes hydroponically. Now, let's get into the step-by-step -step process of growing potatoes hydroponically. Whether you're a beginner or looking to expand your gardening skills, this guide will help you successfully cultivate potatoes without soil. Choosing the right variety. The first step in growing potatoes hydroponically is selecting the right potato variety. Some varieties are better suited for hydroponic systems than others, so it's essential to do your research. Popular choices include Yukon Gold, known for its creamy texture and rich flavor, and Red Pontiac, which produces a high yield and is resistant to many diseases. If you're experimenting, consider trying different varieties to see which one thrives best in your specific setup. Setting up your hydroponic system. Once you've chosen your potato variety, it's time to set up your hydroponic system. There are several options available, but Deep Water Culture, DWC, is particularly popular for growing potatoes. In a DWC system, a reservoir holds nutrient-rich water, and an air pump provides oxygen to the roots. You can also use Nutrient Film Technique, NFT, or drip systems. Make sure your setup has adequate light sources, as potatoes require at least 12-16 hours of light daily. LED grow lights are a great option because they are energy efficient and can be tailored to the specific light spectrum that potatoes need for optimal growth. Preparing Seed Potatoes Next, you'll need to prepare your seed potatoes. 
Choose healthy, disease-free tubers and cut them into chunks, ensuring each piece has at least one eye, the part that will sprout. Allow the cut pieces to dry for about 24 hours. This step is crucial as it helps to prevent rot when planted. If you're using whole seed potatoes, you can skip this step, but ensure they are clean and healthy. Planting the seed potatoes. Now it's time to plant your seed potatoes. Place the potato chunks or whole seed potatoes in net pots filled with a growing medium such as clay pellets or rock wool. These mediums provide support for the plants while allowing water and nutrients to flow through easily. Position the net pots in your hydroponic system so that the bottom is submerged in the nutrient solution. This setup allows the roots to access the water and nutrients directly while keeping the potato above the water line to avoid rot. Providing light and nutrients. After planting, ensure that your potatoes receive the right amount of light and nutrients. Depending on the growth stage, potatoes typically require a balanced hydroponic nutrient solution rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. You can purchase pre-mixed solutions or create your own by combining individual nutrient components. Monitor the pH levels of your nutrient solution, aiming for a range between 5.5 and 6.5. Regularly check and adjust the nutrient levels to ensure that your potatoes are receiving everything they need for robust growth. Monitoring and maintenance. As your potato plants grow, regular monitoring and maintenance are crucial for success. Keep an eye on water levels in your reservoir and replenish them as needed. Additionally, observe your plants for any signs of nutrient deficiency or pest issues. While soil-borne pests are less of a concern, aphids or spider mites can still occur. If you notice any problems, treat them promptly with organic insecticidal soap or neem oil. Prune any yellowing leaves to encourage healthy growth. And don't forget to provide adequate space between plants to ensure good air circulation. Harvesting your potatoes. After approximately 10 to 12 weeks, it's finally time to harvest your potatoes. The best way to determine if your potatoes are ready is to check the foliage. When the plant's leaves start to yellow and die back, it's a clear indication that the tubers have matured beneath the surface. At this point, it's essential to stop providing nutrients a week or so before harvesting to ensure the plants use up any remaining nutrients, resulting in a sweeter flavor. Gather your tools, such as gloves, a trowel, and a bucket, and prepare for the exciting moment of uncovering your crop. To begin harvesting, gently remove the net pots from your hydroponic system. Carefully rinse off the roots under running water to expose the potatoes without damaging them. Take your time during this process, as potatoes can be quite delicate. Once you've cleaned the tubers, inspect them for any blemishes or signs of disease. Store your harvested potatoes in a cool, dark place to prolong their shelf life. And there you have it, homegrown hydroponic potatoes ready for your next meal. Whether you plan to bake, mash, or fry them, there's nothing quite like enjoying produce you've grown yourself. Remember to celebrate this achievement and share your hydroponic gardening journey with friends and family. So, there you have it. Growing potatoes without soil through hydroponic methods is not only possible but incredibly rewarding. We've explored the entire process, from selecting the right variety and setting up your hydroponic system to monitoring growth and finally harvesting your crop. This innovative approach to gardening opens up new possibilities for food production, especially in urban areas and regions with limited agricultural space. Plus, the health benefits of fresher, pesticide-free potatoes are hard to beat. If you've been thinking about trying your hand at hydroponic gardening, now is the perfect time to get started. We'd love to hear about your experiences. Have you tried growing potatoes or other plants hydroponically? 
share your thoughts, tips, and any questions in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing content on gardening and sustainable living. Remember, every small step towards growing your food can make a big difference in your life and the environment. Until next time, happy growing, and let's continue to embrace the future of farming together.